What up guys, Tough Thumbs here. Got a very entertaining video for you tonight. Uh, kind of like a horror theme, maybe an early Halloween video. Um, real quick, I'm gonna show you some uh, stuff I got today, some pretty awesome stuff. So these are also um, from, uh, yeah, for payment for a job. So, you know, I'm not running around rich as hell buying uh, custom shit. So I wanted to show you guys this again. Uh, you guys saw the Silent Soldier neck knife. Well, I got another one here. It's a special one, and uh, this is like the new model from Jason Browse. See, it's more of a, uh, you know, more useful. I mean, when it comes to, uh, you know, anything besides uh, utility. But this one's like a two-tone one. You can see, it's got the D2, and it's got the sandblast here, here, and all around the edges and inside. And the holes, I think, are slightly bigger. But, uh,. These things are fucking awesome, guys. Seriously, like, seriously, he's an up-and-coming knife maker. You seriously support him. I mean, he's just awesome. I just think his style is just crazy. And, uh, you know, he's not afraid to do some crazy-ass designs, but I love these things, and I will be carrying them every damn day. I have been carrying this one since I got it, pretty much. Uh, occasionally, don't carry it, but now I'll be carrying this one every single day, so... We'll see. They definitely should check them out. They're not expensive either. Only 100 bucks, and you get a, definitely an awesome freaking blade. So, also, oh god, this thing is freaking insane, guys. So this is my final thing for uh, the Neptune knives. Uh, he's paying me with these uh, sweet ass knives, so I'd be doing work for him until these are basically paid off. So, but this is just insane. This is a Warren Thomas Strider RC limited edition. And it's fucking insane. Look at that shit. The titanium handle with the alien skin pattern. Titanium blade. Chisel ground. Uh, carbonized with the blue black G10. See it was blue in there. And uh, this thing is just ridiculously crazy. It's huge too. And uh... This thing is just nuts, like fucking nuts, and I'm so excited about it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Get close up of that. Eat your heart out there, Orimoto. Just beautiful. Got the G10 uh, stopper there. It's a little tight for, uh, you know, it's new, it's gotta break in, but that logo is sweet. Warren Thomas. So I'm set for life, I think, on knives right now. I mean, I say that now, but who knows? But I uh, just wanted to share this guy with you. I mean, I'll probably never use it for anything except looking at it. Uh, it's freaking gorgeous. So anyway, the pimpage tonight is pretty awesome. Uh, and we got here in the background... I'll get to these in a minute. First, I'm going to get to the first pimp job, which is just a normal pimp job. Not, nothing goes with the theme or anything like that. And this one is for Jack, I think his name is. I, I forget off the top of my head. It's this second. Uh, but this one he stole from his uh, his dad to get pimped as a surprise. And uh, it's pretty sweet. He, he said his dad likes jade a lot. And uh, it's an interesting knife. Uh, I think it's called a Razzle. Uh, it's a CRKT. It's got a cool like chisel ground or chisel chisel type of blade, like a for scraping, which I like. Nice serrations. So I put jade scales on this guy with the reptilian pattern. It looks very nice. I've been wanting to put the reptilian pattern on jade for quite some time. Looks damn good. And this knife looks real good with this jade on here. It's not as bulky as it was before. I slimmed it down a little bit, so it's a little bit more pocket friendly, I'd say. You know, it's got this strange pocket clip on it. Which ain't that bad. I carried it around for like an hour in my shop just to see what that was like. But uh, it looks sweet. It's nice and solid. Got the little lock here, working perfectly fine. Got one more for you, man, and your order is done. Um, and now, 
Uh, this is definitely the masterpiece of the evening and definitely something really special. So this is for everybody's buddy, uh, Muddy Desire. Uh, he's one of my favorite YouTubers on here. He's just a really nice guy. Every time I talk to him, he's just really cool. He hooked me up with a little uh, little twine guy here, and he gave one. He sent one recently to uh, another one, and it's for my girlfriend, which is freaking awesome, dude. I appreciate that a lot. I mean, that's just really cool of you to do. And uh, I got a little utility tool there, which he also stole for work. So I appreciate that, man. And uh, I know you like horror movies, uh, and as do I. Uh, and Halloween is my favorite holiday of the year for sure. I don't know what it is. The weather, uh, the time of year, just, I don't know, makes me nostalgic and I you know, just love uh, love horror movies and all that stuff. So, you just some of my favorite Army of Darkness. Definitely all time favorite. 20 days later, 20 weeks later, you know, I, I couldn't find the other one. American Psycho, definitely one of my all time favorite movies all around. And you got Bubba Hotep here. You know, I love a lot of them, but these are just a few that I had just sitting here. Just I throw it out here as a background. So anyway, now on to the fucking ape shit crazy knife of the evening. And this one's for Muddied Desire. And uh, this is <laughs> this is a crazy Halloween theme here. So you got the Spiderco Resilience with the broken glass sandblast. Uh, I tried something different on it. I'm gonna go back to the original way I did it. Uh, it looks sweet. I want a little bit more detail on this one than uh, the the uh, military, because I knew it would work. It definitely looks sweet as hell. And then you got the yellow G10. So you get you guess what this is? You might get hungry anyway. Got some orange in the middle. And to round off the candy corn look, you got the white G10 at the bottom for a yummy Halloween treat. It's the candy corn resilience. That is just so freaking awesome. Like he gave me this, he yeah, threw out this idea, he did a little sketch, and I was just like, that's just crazy enough to work. And I just thought it was just so funny. And it was just so awesome. So it's got the reptilian pattern on there. It doesn't take away from the uh, the candy corn look or anything like that. But uh, overall, it's just kick ass. And the pocket clip also is uh, broken glass, blast on it or whatever. Put some black uh, pocket clip screws in there. Listening to D more Booger or Borger, I don't know how to pronounce it. I love this band. Some orange liners in there. A little dirty from my hands, but I'll clean that up before I send it out. But uh, my girlfriend won't stop talking about it. She says she wants to eat it. This thing's just so cool. This is so funny. So guys, um, I'm gonna be going to a midnight release of Battlefield 3 because I have been waiting for this game. I have not played any video games really for since I started doing this. I said that once I once Battlefield 3 comes out, I will start playing sometimes. Not as much as I used to, but you know, I definitely want to play that game. So if anybody's on tonight at midnight, I'll be at the midnight release getting that shit. I think Ubisoft's gonna be there or something. I don't give a shit though. Just one of my game. But uh the gamer inside me is just crying to get out, so. <sighs> Check this out guys. <laughs> Seriously, that's nuts. Look at the size of this thing. And you guys know how big this resilience is, it's massive. It's definitely not something I'm gonna be carrying ever. It's around the same length, but uh, it's definitely definitely wider. You can hide the whole thing behind it. But I uh, muddied. Uh, we'll be finished up to the Chicago and sending this back to you hopefully very, very soon. 
I was gonna do a Halloween episode with this, but you know, I didn't do much today, and I you know, wanted to make sure I had something to show you guys. And uh, this one, I just been itching to do it, and you've been so cool about everything, and uh, figured I'd just uh, throw it up there. Jade really compliments this knife very nicely. Just fits on it. I think I've seen the custom ones with some jade on it, some glow lines or something. Let me show you guys this up close here. It says brass on the spine instead of on the side. You can see the sandblast in the holes there and slide these holes on the edge there. A little swedge underneath. Feels nice. Love this thing. Definitely the neck knife to end all neck knives. I have not, uh, it's just so awesome. I just love this guy's knives, man. I haven't had a chance to handle any of his other stuff, but, you know, if they're anything close to his neck knives, uh, you know, fucking definitely be getting one of those in the future. And that's the same as his uh, YouTube channel. Definitely should get some views, guys. Same with the uh, Muddy Desire. I'll put a link for both of them in the description, hopefully. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a great night. Peace.